Greetings to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We wish you and welcome you to our Mighty Grace YouTube channel. Let's get into the video. Today, we are going to learn a new story called The Potter and His Clay. There was a couple who used to go to England to shop in the beautiful stores. They both liked antiques and pottery and especially teacups. This was their 25th wedding anniversary. One day, in the beautiful shop, they saw a beautiful cup. They said, may we see that? We've never seen one quite so beautiful. As the lady handed it to them, suddenly the cup spoke. You don't understand, it said. I haven't always been a teacup. There was a time when I was red and I was clay. My master took me and rolled me and painted me over and over. And I yelled out, let me alone. But he only smiled, not yet. Then I was placed on a spinning wheel, the cup said. And suddenly I was spun around and around and around. Stop it, I'm getting dizzy. I screamed, but the master only nodded and said, not yet. Then he put me in the oven. I never felt such heat, the teacup said. I wondered why he wanted to burn me and I yelled and knocked at the door. I could see him through the opening and I could read his lips and he shook his head, not yet. Finally, the door opened. He put me on the shelf and I began to cool. There, that's better, I said. And he brushed me and painted me all over. The fumes were horrible. I thought I would gag. Stop it, stop it, I cried. He only nodded, not yet. Then suddenly he put me back into the oven, not like the first one. This was twice as hot and I knew I would suffocate. I begged, I pleaded and I screamed and I cried. All the time I could see him through the opening, nodding his head, saying, not yet. Then I knew there wasn't any hope. I would never make it. I was ready to give up. But the door opened and he took me out and placed me on the shelf. One hour later, he handed me a mirror and said, Look at yourself. And I did. I said, That's not me. That couldn't be me. It's beautiful. I'm beautiful. Wow, I'm really beautiful. I want you to remember then, he said. I know it hurts to be rolled and painted, but if I had left you alone, you'd have dried up. I know it made you dizzy to spin around on the wheel, but if I had stopped, you would have crumbled. I know it hurt and was hot and disagreeable in the oven. But if I hadn't put you there, you would have cracked. I know the fumes were bad when I brushed and painted you all over. But if I hadn't done that, you never would have been hardened. You would not have had any color in your life. And if I hadn't put you back in the second oven, you wouldn't survive for a long because the hardness would not have held. Now you are a finished product. You are what I had in my mind when I first began with you. The lesson from the story, The Potter and His Clay is, may we all see ourselves and God's creative mastery in this teacup. This is a wonderful inspirational story to go along with the Bible story of the potter and the clay found in Jeremiah chapter 18 verse 1 to 6. It says, the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I shall announce my words to you. Then I went down to the potter's house, and there he was, making something on the wheel. But the vessel that he was making of clay was spoiled in the hand of the potter. So he remade it into the another vessel, as it pleased the potter to me. Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Can I not, O house of Israel, deal with you as this potter does? declares the Lord, Behold, like the clay in the potter's hands, so are you in my hand, O house of Israel. So, my dear friends, God knows what He is doing for all of us. He is a potter and we are His clay. He will mold us and make us, so that we may be made into a flawless piece of work, to fulfill His good, pleasing and perfect will. From the heart of the mighty grace writer, as a teacup in the story went through many phases to become a masterpiece, in the same way as a human in the hand of a creator, Lord Jesus Christ, should go through many trials, temptations and difficulties to become a masterpiece. So let us bear every difficulty for our Christ and become his masterpiece. May the potter and his clay story become a story as we willingly yield to our potter's hand. Thanking you all for watching till the end. May God bless you all. If you like our video, please like comment, share and subscribe to our channel. For more new content like this, turn on your notification bell.